Hey everybody, it's Echo Papa, and today we're going to talk about uh, making something quick and dirty. We're going to make a custom DJ drop. Now, if you don't know what a DJ drop is, it's when you're listening to a DJ on the radio or you're in a club, and then uh, over a break or an instrumental uh, portion, all of a sudden you hear uh, the DJ's name come out in a sample, and you know it might say DJ XYZ, and you know spinning on the you know, on the wheels of steel, you know, they say all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, anyway, that is a DJ drop, and people pay a lot of money to have those made by professionals. Uh, some people make them themselves using uh, software like Pro Tools or uh, SoundForge, uh, all kinds of stuff. You can even use programs like Audacity, uh, but uh, we're going to do one that's just real quick and real dirty using virtual DJ. Uh, now, this is if you're a pro and on tour, this is not something that I would recommend. But if you know you're just in the bedroom and you just maybe play out occasionally, uh, you can use virtual DJ. Just make a quick one, just just for fun. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and do that today, and I'm going to show you how. Uh, let's, let's go ahead and unload this track. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and uh, record something using the mic. Uh, you don't need anything special. Uh, I'm not even using one of my uh, professional DJ mics. I'm just uh, using the mic that I have plugged into the laptop here. So any mic that you have uh, laying around that you can plug into your computer should be just fine. Uh, first of all, we want to turn on the microphone input in Virtual DJ. So we go to uh, Configuration, we go to Audio, and here we go to Mic. And you see it opens up a new channel for the microphone. Click Apply, close it out. And now if we go to the master, we see that uh, as this moves up and down, it means that the mic is hot and live and is ready for us to record something. Now this button right here where it says record, that lets us record uh, some, some audio into a sample. And we're going to do an old, uh, an old pro uh, producer's trick uh, from back in the day called bouncing. And uh, it's, it's not hard, but uh, let's go ahead and do it right now. Let's go ahead and uh, let's record a... Uh, a drop, something real simple, you know, I'll do, um, uh, let's see, uh, I'll say DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. I don't really, I don't go by DJ Echo Papa, I, but, um, but just for, you know, uh, for practice sake, that's what we're going to do. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and record that. I'm going to click record. As soon as I do it, I'm going to say it really fast. Um, so here we go. DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. Uh, now, if you go out here, you see in the sampler section in recordings, we got a new recording in there called Mike, and that is the recording that we just recorded. So let's go ahead, and you can throw this right into a sample. But what we're going to do is we're going to throw it into the deck. You can drag it right up into the deck, and then now we can twist it and modify it and uh, do all kinds of fun things with it and try to make it sound more like a, a pro drop. And we're going to uh, let's go ahead and find the beginning of the song. It's probably not right here, but let's go ahead and listen to it. DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. All right. So let's go ahead and we're going to move this right up to here. I'm gonna delete this. Put it right there. Let's test it. DJ Echo Papa. Move it back just a little bit. I'm going to go into the POI editor. Move that back just a hair. Right there. Two, one. We're gonna move the whole thing back just a little bit. No, nope. trying to snap on us. Let's un uncheck snap. Move it back just a little bit. Right there. Okay. There we go. Now let's try it. DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. All right, that sounds a little bit better. So we got a a, a start point. Now, if you haven't don't have it set already, I have switched this over um, and the button behavior to play stutter because we're going to do a stutter on this sample. Uh, but first of all, let's uh, pitch this down a little bit. So go here where it says show key panel, drop it down. You're going to get this key menu right here. We're going to drop it down several steps. Now, I've clicked down a couple of steps. Let's hear what it sounds like now. DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. All right. Uh, now let's go ahead and we're going to add some effects to it. Uh, add just a little bit of distortion and phaser. So let's hear what it sounds like now. DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. There we go. That sounds a little bit better. Now uh, what we're going to do is we're going to record this one more time. Okay. Now you don't want to use 
the record here because you can uh, use the record in the deck. But what happens when you use, when you record it with the deck is that it does not record your key change, so it's going to record it in the same pitch that uh, you would normally record it. Uh, so we're going to go to our master and we're going to record it using the master record. Now, because I want to do it nice and quick, I've gone ahead and mapped a button to activate this record. In fact, I'll show it to you. Config. Uh, controllers, keyboard, which is the only thing I have hooked up right now, and I'm mapped control R to the sampler record master. Now, if you just put sampler record, it's going to record what other, whatever the default deck is, but because I've added master at the end of it, it's going to, it's going to activate that master button. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press play, and uh, I'm going to uh, stutter it just a little bit, and then when it's done, I'm going to uh, uh, click record again to stop the recording and it should make a new recording down here at the bottom. Ready? Uh, here we go. D D DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. Alright, now we got our, our master recording. Let's go ahead and throw it in the other deck and see what it sounds like. Go ahead and uh, we're gonna move it. D D DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. Yeah, it sounds okay, but you know what? I'm gonna try it one more time because I didn't quite get where I wanted to be. You know what? And I'm going to move that that hot cue point to you. Let's see. Go into POI editor. I'm going to move this back so it's right up against their cue. DJ Echo Papa. And you can you can see because uh, this is not being affected by the uh, the effects and the, the key changes that I have, uh, that it's not, uh, the effects are not uh, being shown in the POI editor. D -D 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 there you go, that sounds a little bit better. It's a little bit faster. So, we got that, let's try it, try it again. D -D 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 Echo Papa. Okay, so, we're going to try it one more time. We're going to record off the master. I'm going to press control record just a split second before I uh, press play. D -D -D DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. All right, and here we go. We have Master. It says Master One. So let's go ahead and listen to this one. Load it up. And D -D 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 DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. All right. Now we can even uh, make it a little bit nicer. We're going to take this and we go here. Uh, open up our sample editor. Now we got a logo right on there. Close that, close that out, save changes, yes, and there's our logo. So now when we take it, we drag it right in there. There's our logo, and you know, let's rename this. Rename this to the master one. We're going to say uh, DJ Drop. Yes, now it's changed to DJ Drop. So next time you're, you're hardcore into that mix, you can go ahead and say DJ, DJ, DJ Echo Papa on the ones and twos. And you have yourself just a quick and dirty little DJ drop that uh, you can throw in there. But remember, if you are going pro, uh, this is not the method that I would use. But, you know, it's, it's something quick and dirty and fun to do. So if you guys have any questions, please post them down in the comments. If you guys uh, like this video, please click the like button. If you really liked it, share it with your friends or subscribe. Until next time, my name is Echo Papa, and I will talk to you later.